G'day mate and welcome back to Astro here with me, JD. And we're done. Um, I powered up this, which took a little bit longer than I wanted. Came back here and found out that um, this system had only half finished. So it needed a swift kick. And then get back here. Uh, then finished um, filling all the canisters with argon. And I actually want to bring both these guys down. Now the easier one for me to make is wind. So basically what I want to do is I want to leave all the winds here. Take all the solars with me. Is that right? Small solar needs copper. Small wind turbine needs glass. I don't get it either. But it is what it is. I'll take that with me. I'm going to leave all the wind turbines here. We're going to leave them on our rover, which we're also leaving behind. We're going to pack that on. We're going to pack our second tray of nothing but argon. We've got this tray that's full of argon as well. We're taking this one, which has a couple of research items I've picked up. Another trailer. Another drill. Uh, some more argon. My backpack has one package out. So we'll take... I'm going to take the trailer with me. Leave the tractor. Come on. I could have taken the wind turbine, but realistically, meh. Um, it took forever to fill this thing up. Um, literally, there was like 30 minutes of AFK time. Um, I eventually got bored of it, and I went and made another small generator went and found some organics pulled the batteries off here and put the wind turbine the medium wind turbine up and ran the turbine for a little bit of extra power whilst recharging batteries once at a time it took ages but we have argon we're still on our precarious launch position which i could have fixed but i didn't Curious on our fuel. Yeah, really, not even. Uh, so we want to go to home. We've used half a tank, half of one tank. So that means this is with three full canisters. It's good for six trips. Uh, so now we need our beacon. At the same time, see whether we can find one of these stupid things that aren't powered up. Because I'd like to power up all the ones at the home planet, at least. You know, providing I can get there easily. Yeah, that one's powered, that one's powered. It's got a bit one of the poles. That looks like a mountain I'd like to drive up. There's our beacon. No, I still don't see anywhere. Okay. There we go. Back to home base with heaps and heaps and heaps of fuel left. I love this new engine. Oh, we get to land at sunrise. Sunrise. Okay. All right, put our power system back together. Just like, just anyway. That'll do. Uh, battery backup, you can go there. More battery backup. You can go there. Batteries with a mix of other stuff. You can go there. Uh, 
Argon, iron, carbon. Okay. Argon. Uh, you're actually fairly useless. You can sit there. We're not going to need them for a long time. Uh, I don't need a trailer anymore. I do not need three oxygen canisters down back at base. Uh, I don't even need graphene, graphite, whatever, whichever one it is. So what do we want? We want an iron and carbon. Carbon, carbon. That's tungsten. Iron and iron. We can now make steel. I'm curious how much gas this needs. One bar. Make more steel. Where'd our first lot of steel? Oh, there we go. Steel's there. Okay, what was the research we needed steel for? Crane, technically. Uh, steel and iron for extra large storage. One, two. I don't need that. And iron will tick that off for storage and start that. Printing. Extra life storage. Hang on. Take two steps back. No. Pick those up. Start that printing. I hope this is worthwhile. I really do. It's taking so much effort to get this thing. Uh, solar array. We haven't printed one of those either. Copper, glass, plastic. Okay. That's rubber. Uh, copper. Okay. Copper, glass. Glass we should have over here somewhere. Right beside the great scrap pile. Glass. Uh, plastic. Compound, rubber, rubber, rubber. Okay, you need to print me some plastic and graphene, graphite, graph something, which probably needs it in another shipment. Not the cable plug. The scrap. The scrap. Uh, don't unplug that. Uh, that. That's it. Still printing. Okay, and plastic needed. Carbon and compound. Uh, carbon I know is there. Compound is there. We've got graphene. Okay. And again, this comes out of the ultra large printer. So it's going to take forever after this thing's done. F and something happened. Oh, it was a tether. Uh, I thought I had this. No? I thought I found a random bit of plastic. 
Okay. Try again. Solar array. <gasps> Maybe it tilts the solar panels. Oh, that'd be awesome. Uh, let's just unpack. That. Actually, that's a lot of storage spots. I was going to be disappointed. You don't fit on there. Okay, so it's purely storage. No. No ability to plug it in to run. So it's got a base on it. Oh, I've got a extra large platform. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if that dog will... I, I'm hoping you can't hear it. It's been grumpy again. Uh, okay. You can definitely hear it now. It looks like it clicks. Okay, that definitely clicks. Eh. It'd be funny if we covered it in batteries. I can still pick it up with stuff on it. What? Show me on the side of this. Oh, okay, so it has four links. I don't know. Look, inventory management, I've got to say, is is probably the thing that has frustrated me most with this game. And what even frustrates me more is... I've, I've actually really enjoyed Astronian. Like, don't get me wrong. It's been a great game. Um, I'd probably give it, like, a 8 out of 10. But inventory management... With such a tiny inventory, um, personal inventory that is, and then so many different varieties of stuff, um, has meant that it's 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 been a real nightmare um, to sort of have any sense of a sense of organisation. Um, not without spending a lot of time, literally just moving stuff back and forth. Um, which I have done. I have taken, like, chunks of time between episodes to move stuff around. Um, but to me, that's not a game. That's, that's, that's work. That's like housework, you know. I, I'm playing a game to avoid housework. Um, and what makes it worse, I did see early on, like, I... I, I I went looking into the history of Astroneer and, and, and all this sort of stuff. And I actually found a really, really early, really early video um, of the crane. So I know what the crane does. Um, and how the crane was working and, and, and all this sort of stuff. And I saw that they had the crane... Oh. Are, are, are you trying to insinuate game that my base is a bit of a mess okay so i saw the crane like you know out here at the edge of my base right on a platform digging stuff and then i saw the power cables so not tether lines but the power cables i saw the resources flowing along the power cables right to an empty you know well i would assume to either somewhere that can process them or to an empty storage location and even like running the atmospheric condenser on the rocket because it was on the rocket Every single storage location got used up automatically, and it just ran. Um, it was—it's much like the, the the smelter, where it just auto assigns to every single square. And I got to say, the atmospheric condenser on a large platform C, where I can just let it run, probably wouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, it was—it was. It was I've got to say, if, if, if they implemented that in the game where if I wanted to make plastic, it would search along my power network to every single storage location that I have hooked up for these two resources. And if I've got them, it, it just hit the OK button and it just go. And you'd see the resources slide along and end up... 
Is that a full tether? No, it looks like a full tether. Um, yeah, you'd see the resources just slide along into the machine. It'd just process. Um, that'd be awesome. Okay, I want to... I want to move this, because this could actually... Nope. Could actually be worthwhile. So let's put this... Here. Unpack. Oh no, it's just a big solar panel. Okay. That's floating. Do we question its anti-gravity abilities? Hey! On the ground. So, it's just a big solar panel that follows the sun. I like it! I like it. Um, not nearly as much as I like the power that, f that, that looks at me. That's just creepy. Um, okay, so we've got a solar array. We've got an extra large storage. Um, which just looks like a giant porcupine. Um, we can now make steel. So, let's go through the list again. Nanocarbon alloy. And 8,000 blades. Uh, we've done all those. They're mods, we don't care. True mod 3, that's a personal one. No. Oh, that's the personal drill mod 3. Not the vehicle... Drill strength 3. Okay. Alright, so we're going to get a... 3,000 points. Okay, so we need diamond, which means... Diamond, which is graphene... Which is graphite, hydrazine, which is back to here. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. That one and that one. There's another one. Uh, I, uh, I need hydrazine. That's another thing. Um, it'd be nice if it'd be like, okay, you need the prerequisite for that. So we're just going to research your, yeah, we're just going to make the hydrazine for you to make the, um, to make the next step, to make the next step. That, that's just, it's those little things. Uh, it's all right. It looks like there's only one there and they need to come. Oh no, there's two of them. Like this, my inventory is full. I'm, I'm, I'm reduced to carrying stuff in my hand. <sighs> okay. Make another hydrazine. Uh, which now means I need to pick up more scrap off the ground. one ratio so we'll pick up that bit of scrap uh, that bit of scrap that bit of scrap that bit of scrap and you can't you can't fly okay send that off to Fremonia Yeah, I'd like to be able to say, hey, I want diamonds, and it just magically goes through all the prerequisites and makes me diamonds. And just sets up literally like a crafting crew queue. Okay, graphene again. I think I've actually got all the materials right here to do some diamond. Graphene. So yeah, inventory management, which I know is on, according to their Trello, is on top, their, 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 their um, it's, it's, it's in the plans to be done. Um, the other big one, which, which was automation, again, it's in their plans to, to come. Um, 
Look, with that, with those two, two things done, I only needed two. I made four. Ah, oh, it's alright. Um, yeah, with those two things done, I can easily give this, give this game a, a nine or even a ten out of ten. Um, it does depend on the implementation. <sighs> Mod 2 can go on to this storage bench with everything else. I have no idea what this is going to do to my power consumption now. I imagine not good things. Okay, so we've got one of those. Dynamite and fireworks. I'm skipping. I did complain in the comments if you want. RTG at 10,000 bytes. Uh... Research chamber, smelting, chemistry, alpha large shredder, medium rover, a crane, a large printer. So there is only the RTG and the portable oxygenizer. some way to get portable power generator okay so we need 18,000 bytes 18,000 bytes and we're, we're well we're done. That, and we need to be able to make the nano carbon alloy. Okay, the F. Nano carbon is titanium, steel, and helium. So that means another trip to another planet. Uh, hydrogen, 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 argon, helium. Atrox. Okay. I will see you guys in the next episode when I've got more bites done I've got everything unlocked we're gonna be on Artrox because I, I don't want to do, I, I, I don't want to skip off, off over Artrox without you um, I will tell you it will be after we have the crap ton of helium that we need because um, that is the only place to get it sulfur gives me explosives which I don't really need uh, Methane. What did methane give us? Nitrogen, argon, sulfur. Methane gives me silicon. What does silicon do? Resonant quartz gives me silicon. What does silicon do? No. No, 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 rubber, tungsten, no, no, that's all zinc, those were done, explosive powder, Compound, ceramic, resin, iron. Silicons for a crane. Okay. No, don't go to research, go to planets. So I might go over and I might grab some methane just so we can make some silicon, just so we can make a crane. And then next episode we'll, we will be on Artrox 
I will have already harvested all the helium that we need. Um, we might grab some sulfur, just so we can say we did it. Um, and it's right there. Explosive powder is carbon, carbon, and sulfur. And then we can make a bit of dynamite, and a bit of fireworks. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. So there'll be next episode, we'll be on that planet. Maybe finish out that episode the series i don't know um either way it's been a load of fun thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you come back for the next episode and any further episodes if there are i don't know will you'll find out same time i do thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next one